What is DocuSign IAM? How should you use it? What does that mean for you if you're an existing DocuSign user and we're using eSignature? How do you get access to those new features? There's a bunch of different questions that I'm going to answer in this video. Over the last few years, they created a bunch of different products. There was DocuSign eSignature first, DocuSign PowerForms, then DocuSign ID verification, DocuSign document generation, more recently DocuSign web forms. Now the challenge is that all these forms did not necessarily talk to one another. And recently, they created this DocuSign Maestro tool. And I've done another video on how to use DocuSign Maestro. Maestro allows you to connect multiple apps together in order to create larger workflows. And so in order for Maestro to work, you kind of have to have a lot of different applications working on the same platform. Because in the past, all these different tools did not necessarily talk to one another, or you could not really combine them, which resulted in a very complex setup for the customer, which also resulted in a lot of work for us, I'm not gonna lie. And that's the problem that DocuSign is trying to solve with IAM, a single platform where their users can access all the different apps that they provide so that they can upgrade and essentially have a better experience. And I'm going to explain how DocuSign is using AI for document workflows, use cases. But let's take a look at what is in this IAM platform. So we've got DocuSign Maestro, I already told you what this is. You can check the video uh, that I've done on that. Then DocuSign Navigator. Navigator is a place where all the documents that are signed are stored. And DocuSign can then, using AI, resurface some of the information that is trapped in the signed document. For example, renewal dates, risks, contract values, these sort of things, and give meaning to all of these data points. This term in this contract is not really standard with the company's terms. So it can warn you about risks and also opportunities for renewal and things like this. Now, DocuSign IAM also includes DocuSign App Center, which is super exciting for developers. So with App Center, you can include various apps inside of a DocuSign Maestro workflow. So for example, we can add a step that says once a document is signed, then send a notification to this person and then download the document and store it inside of a Google Drive folder. That was kind of already possible in the past using DocuSign agreement rules, but the App Center brings the ability to add any app within a DocuSign Maestro step. So that's for the DocuSign App Center. Then we have data verification to verify phone numbers and SSNs and EINs live. And it can also verify US addresses for now. And obviously this is going to be rolled out to the rest of the world during this year. And obviously we still have the templates, we have the web forms and we have everything else. Actually, I don't know why they don't list web forms here. Maybe because they consider web forms being part of the e-signature platform. I'm going to show you how to use DocuSign AI and DocuSign Navigator in a minute. But in case you haven't met me before, my name is Sofian Saudi and I'm the founder of Solution Consulting. I'm an ex-DocuSign employee. And now at Solution Consulting, we help organizations implement DocuSign product and document workflow automation tools in general. So if you are interested in getting some help to roll out DocuSign for your organization, you can book a strategy session with one of our team members using the link just down below. During the call, we'll review your workflow and strategize the best implementation depending on your needs. And if you're starting with DocuSign, I also suggest that you download the free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet because it will help you understand how to implement DocuSign the right way for your organization, or at least how to get started. Now back to DocuSign IAM. So if you go inside of DocuSign and on the agreements tab, you'll find a navigator tab. And here we have the list of all the completed documents that will be analyzed by DocuSign AI, automatically uploaded from the DocuSign eSignature account that is connected to the IAM platform, or you can also upload documents. So you can go here, upload documents. And so here I've already done a couple things. I've simply uploaded four different documents and here's what DocuSign was able to extract. Let's take a look at what we see if we click on one specific document. So that's the SaaS platform. So this is the standard agreement that we get our customers to sign when they purchase our platform, access to our platform at least, I should say. And so DocuSign here was able to extract information from the document using AI, and that includes the name of parties, so Solution Consulting, and then the name of the clients, when the agreement takes takes effect. Now, I'm a little bit surprised that it doesn't say anything about contract value because there is definitely something about the value or maybe it's because it's a month to month thing. So it's not picking it up. We have the renewal term, it's automatically renewed. And then we have the renewal notice period. And if we click on learn more, we don't have anything else actually. But what's really nice about this DocuSign AI is that if there was a specific clause in these documents that DocuSign had extracted, and flags as something that's a risk or an opportunity, 
we could simply click on this actual data point that was extracted and DocuSign is meant to show it to us. Now, the issue for now is that it doesn't take you where it highlights it, but then it's your job to find that. Oh yeah, there you go. So you see, I had to scroll back up to find this. And so if I, if I click on Swiss and Consulting, that I'm seeing this. Let's take a look at another contract. So if I click on this one, then we can see that it's extracted the contract value, which is nice. And if we go to the reports tab, actually, you can search information in your documents just here. So for example, I can search, let's just say I had 10,000 documents here, and I want to know all the contracts that have a value that's over $10,000. Then technically, I should only see that 500,000, and it did not work, greater than $10,000, then here is my contract. So that's pretty nice. We can do this here and we can play with different filters, obviously. And we can also obviously download contracts from here. And if we go to the report, then we have new dashboards that will tell us you've got an agreement that's going to renew this month or next month, or these are the risks. So it can help you identify new opportunities without having to create a lot of logic within your CRM to keep track of all the you renew the new DocuSign IAM platform comes with different plans, new plans. And I'm going to do a much more thorough review on what is included in each DocuSign plan. But now know that the main difference between e-signature and IAM plan is that DocuSign IAM comes with unlimited envelopes, at least unlimited manual envelopes. Manual means that you're logging inside of the DocuSign website and then you're sending the document from there. So this is completely unlimited and it's manual. But if you want the envelopes to be sent using an API, so in an automated manner or using web forms or power forms or in bulk, then you're going to have to pay extra on top of those prices. And so I'm not sure what the price is per additional envelope, but I'm assuming it's around the $5 mark, something like this per envelope, because this is what it's been historically, at least. All these plans do contain 50 automated envelopes per user per year. And so if you need more of that, you're gonna have to pay on top of this to get access to those additional envelopes. I will go in much more detail in my next pricing video, which will be released in the next coming weeks. Now, if you want to understand exactly what's included in IAM plan, I suggest that you go inside of the plan allowances and it will tell you exactly what's in each DocuSign e-signature plan and what's in each IAM plan. Overall, I think that this new platform will bring new opportunities and new functionalities. For now, it's a little bit too early to tell. I haven't been playing with it that much. It's only been a month at DocuSign, not even a month that DocuSign has released it. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Do you think this is something that's going to help you in your organization? What will be the use case? I can definitely see sales teams wanting to use the reports function so that they can identify sales opportunities and legal teams to identify risks as well. When a contract contains a, a term or a condition that is not standard. But what I'm the most excited about is the DocuSign Maestro so that we can build those multi-step workflows and the ability to connect different apps from the app center within our DocuSign Maestro workflows. I think this is pretty cool. And if you need help implementing DocuSign within your organization, you can book a consultation using the link just down below. We will analyze your workflow and help you strategize the implementation based on your specific needs. I will see you in the next video. And until then, happy signing.